The SRC executives were disappointed after reading an article in one of the dailies stating the game's village will come under the custody of the Papua New Guinea Sports Foundation after the games. They say the government must echo the same language since Prime Minister Peter O'Neill stated three times publicly to end over the facility to the university. I'm asking him if he is, the, if he is using his words, the government's word, and he believes that this is what the government is saying, then then explain to us why did they lie to us. The Students' Council said the university has accommodation problems and the game's village has given high hopes to students. If it does transpire, then we are doing injustice to not only ourselves but to our country and we are doing injustice to those other countries who have also bid it. It will be really a big downfall for our students. Their hopes will be shattered. And for many of them, they don't have a place to go and they're looking forward to that. So, Sports Minister Justin Chechenko responded saying the facility will come under a joint understanding with UPNGS landlord and PNG Sports Foundation as government arm to professionally manage the facility. Meanwhile, Director of PNG Sports Foundation Peter Chamalili Jr. told MTV priority will be for students but the Federation awaits government direction for terms of reference and how many rooms the university will use. UPNG has around 5,000 students, while the Games Village will house 4,000 athletes and officials. Jack Lapawa, Jr., National MTV News.